Ah, how's it, everybody? We're down at LSD. A little later than we expected, but that's all right. Bro, it's only like three hours late. It's only like three hours late. We we're trying to get down here before sunrise, as you might be able to tell, didn't happen. Jared, nah, nah. <laughs> uh, sunrise is it's not out yet. Normally, we last couple times we fished here, and it was either on the break wall over there or like over along that side. Today, we're gonna try this little inside little key right here, right on the point. Usually, it's packed and just taken over, so we actually got a chance to fish there today. First come, first serve, bruh. Oh, look at that heron, yeah. Oh, shoots. Stalked. I'm just glad it's not like zero degrees out. So. Yeah, for real. Probably dropping my stuff right there. Okay, we're on this little point right here. I'm just gonna send like one dunk out, another dunk out, and just whip up and down this area. Beautiful little morning, stoked. Like I was saying last night, spent some time doing a little bit of organization. All of this was loose in my backpack, <laughs> so you can tell that that's a giant improvement <laughs> compared to what I was just dealing with. I let that get so bad. About 50% of that was on line too. It was all like line that I picked up or cut off or, yeah. You got Citizen Snips? Citizen Snips is in the uh, fanny pack and on one of the front little baggy packs. No, there's the sun. And all the fish are like ripping right now. We're missing the sunrise. Oh man, that's a bright sun. Probably won't need our sweatshirts too much longer. Some sweet little BKN hooks right here. Got them from highfishgear.com. Along with all the hammer bombs that I've rediscovered in my bag. Got some trash over here. Regulate a little bit of that. I brought this bag specifically for this so I don't need to keep it all loose in my backpack. Okay, I'm all hooked up. Gotta put my pole holder in. Where should I put this guy? I wanna cast just right right here pretty much. So I'll just put it down over here. You're gonna have it there. Yeah. You can put it anywhere you're feeling. There's tons of room. If I can find a freaking spot. Boom. I'm just gonna send mine to this way at an angle a little bit. So you can send yours either just right here in front of us somewhere yeah. or that way. I think I'll do that way. Okay. I'll cast mines out and then I can help you out. There's some bait right there. So for this dunk, I'm using the Cast King Spartacus Maximus bait caster. Oh. Haven't bust this thing out in a while. Figured I'd give it some water time. I'm just gonna send this right towards the sun, which is very, very bright right now. Oh, watch out, Jared. <laughs> that wasn't as far as I was hoping, but let's try that again. That's better. Yep, that one's cherry. Put a bell on there. Set my other one up. Oh, that's an extremely long hook line. Yeah, I'll get a pole holder ready for you. How far did it go? Open the bail up so it doesn't pull line and then just put it into the, the pole holder over here. Stoked. Got stuff in the water. How's the drag on that? How tight should it be? You don't want it too loose, you just want it tight enough that it'll set a hook if something bites it, but not too tight that it's gonna like pull everything into the water and disappear. Jerry's getting a bite right now. Take your bell off and just hold on to the pole and see if it'll set. Oh, am I getting a bite too over there? I don't know. Just give a little bit of tension and see if you can feel it like nibbling or what. I right, set it. Yeah, set the hook. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fight too hard. Just bring it in calm. <laughs> Keep tension on it. Does it feel like he's on? Boost it. It might just be your lead. Oh, it was just your lead. It sounded like something was on there, though. Let me see. Maybe. 
Put another piece of bait on there and send that thing right back where you had it, dog. There's something that's giving it nibs. You had a, I think you had it on, and then when you, like, you gotta try to keep your best to keep tension on it at all times. Nice though, dude, getting some action. Did you just break it? No. Oh, the bait? <laughs> I'm gonna try some plugging. Got this lure from Brada Sid over on Oahu at the last meetup. Huge mahalo. Told him I'd sample it out, so today's gonna be that day. Pretty sick lure. Oh. I'm gonna have to start carrying another tackle box just for lures to keep inside of. I'm gonna snap all these barbs because if I catch something that I don't wanna eat, I'm gonna wanna release it. And if I have the mouth all torn up from the barbs, it's just gonna die when I put it back in the water. Plus in the event that I hook something I don't wanna hook, ooh, like my finger, it's gonna be easy to get out. These are some hyper sharp hooks. I'm gonna resend mine before I start plugging. Oh, bro, not having any bait on mine is not gonna help me catch fish. No bait 08. Good thing I checked. I put a little bit of this hollow loo on there. Oh, Jared. Go, dude. Is it on? Too loose. Set it and bring it in. It's either your bait's gonna be gone or there's a hook fish on there. Oh, pop it. Let me give you the samples, boy. Soup. Trying to get over the ledge. Yeah, that's the danger about casting close is that you don't have time to like build. Oh, yeah. Just rip it off. You're gonna have to just hold it and back up. Just cup it, the spool, like right here. Oh, okay. And then just back up. You might be having it in the good spot though, bro. I think I might switch to that side. Now send it over here one more time. What'd you lose, just the lead? No, I Oh. It might have been a fish that went underneath or something too. Resend that bugger. Maybe I want to switch and put mine next to yours. I'll try not to invade on your little zone. Oh, in the water. Yeah. You got a new hook on there? Yeah. Super long bang of still. Yeah, that's a kind. It's working for you, honestly, so f it, don't even change it. <laughs> Jared. I'm dropping my <laughs> Two lines in the water. Jared's setting up another whip. I've just been plugging back and forth. Let's try the outside over here. We just saw a fish getting chased. It was just jumping up out of the water. In Hawaii and this island too, we import between 90 to 95 percent of our food and this is basically the spot that it all comes in on, this harbor and this barge area right here. This island is, this is the main one here. We got a little stuff going on in Hilo too, but this is the primary port where everything comes in at. Yeah, it's pretty silly. It's like 90 percent of the population's foods coming in from this one little area if anything went wrong like if some earthquake or something just whacked this like zone there'd be a little tsunami action came and wiped this spot out it would be zero food for us be all about fishing life then I think there's all those goats, though. pound goats dude i'm gonna take mines in and put shrimp on it that's good that was fine how you oh oh that's just the ground oh brought one ground some aina crazy let's check mine bait gone again back to the shrimp on that one oh banga whoa
Yeah, there's something splashing right there, bro. Yeah. Let's go hit it. I'll come out there with you. Let's cast off this zone. You can snag some of them. What, what's the one that schools have just done? Hallelujah. Where are they? Oh, yeah, there's a ball, dude. Is that what that is? I think it is. All right, I've been casting here for a while. I'm gonna go cast onto the inside a little bit, check my bait. See what's going on. Whoa, that's a loose rock. Bait check in time. Got something back. Oh, weird, my hook was stuck on something. Huh. Huh. One of the boats came in on that side, so I'm gonna cast my dunk back in this other direction again for now while it's doing its thing. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna get back to plugging while these are sitting out there. One of us needs to catch something ASAP. Go, 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 go. Did it come off already? Is it on? Dude. Another one? Oh, what is that? Oh, oh little papillo! <laughs> well, we're not skunked, bro. Congratulations. Papillo's a papillo. Let's see that dozer, Jared. I'm gonna show it to the camera. Oh, Let me see. You gotta hold it close, it looks Yeah, big. bring it in really close. Oh, oh it's huge! Bro, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. All right, Jared, time for the release. You should be cherry, they're strong. Just put them right in there, yeah. They'll be able to like swim off. Nice little recovery zone. Is he gone? Yeah. Nice. Successful, okay, oh. <laughs> Still don't have tubbies on, bro, I remember. <laughs> uh, we gotta do my second uh, roll in the water. Yeah, yeah, the second Jared fall. Well, send her out again, dude. I'm gonna put mines back out on the front side. I haven't had a single bite on this back side yet. I just gotta find a good spot for my spike. Let's go. Oh. Goners, bro. You know what time it is? So you can check my uh, phone in my backpack right there. What time do you have to be home? 10.30. Okay, yeah, we got, it takes. 11. My mom just wants to use her car at 11, so. Okay, so we gotta be home. 10.30 is a good, safe spot. Yeah. Heading back. This is a weird oil I got on me, bro. Sick. The f got some like, freaking weird, mysterious oil. I have zero idea where this came from. I don't think I've really touched anything, dude. Probably on a rock I touched or something. Probably. Hopefully it's not my gear. Here's something pretty sick. Oh. Yeah, it's a pencil sea urchin right here. These guys are pretty cool. Just live on the rocks. All these spines keep things from eating it. Sick. Put this guy back. In his little zone. Oh yeah, there is a load of them over here, dude. See, you can actually use those urchin spines. Yeah, they write really well. Oh, is that you again, Jared? Yeah. yeah. Just feel it and wait for it to bite. And as soon as you feel a tug, you give a little light tug back. Is it on? Gone. Send it back. Can I switch up my bait? Uh, let's see. You could probably send that, but you might want us to change it.
Jared saw some hololu over here. Figured I'd give a quick little sample, see if any of them want to whack this small little hook. Before we gotta head out, Jared's gotta shoot back over to Kona. Oh yeah, they're right there. Oh, the little papillo are all ravenous though. Oh! Oh! Hinalea! Oh man, Hinaleas are slimy! I would use this guy for life bait, but I don't think we're gonna be here that long. Mm. You packing up? Yeah. Shoots little Hina. Hina Slayer. He's getting ready to go. See ya! Get your own tiny papillo over there too. <laughs> one Hinalea and one tiny papillo. Sick. <laughs> so, Alright, got a little bit more experience. Checked out this zone. Okay, bro, last three casts. <sighs> Let's do it. Oh, don't want to get that close to the other side. Okay, that was three. Sick. Okay, right before we leave, I'm gonna collect a little bit of trash that's laying around. Regulate just a bit. Every time we come, we make it a little bit better than like that. Boom, look how much line that is. That's like 50 lost lines taken care of one time. Here's a little bit. This is a piece of plastic. Oh. Old lefto can. Oh. Bro, when are you gonna make your, uh, oh, your bands? The other half of this. Three pound test. Three pound test. <laughs> you gotta make all your songs. 60 pound screamer. Oh, how is this happening? Who's like leaving just... Bro, I don't want my line. It's stuck in a rock. <laughs> oh, I draw, my line touched the ground. I don't want that line. Oh, I got water on my spool. I'll just throw that away <laughs> here on the ground. All that and what was that? <laughs> Literally one minute and one old nasty stogue next to the line they probably left here. Oh, here's another little patch of line, brah. Who's fishing over here? Ew! Oh, that one can't come into the bag. <laughs> That's your bag. I don't want this one. Oh, get it in there somehow. Ew! <laughs> you hold this, dude. I don't want your. Oh, it's all poopy and stuff, dude. Like, I don't want to walk all over the bathroom, bro. I got this bag. Water, you don't even gotta like put it in that. Nah, that's too far. I don't want to walk to the water. I got this bag. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid little trash pickup sesh. Okay, area's all cleaned up. Let's go get back to the truck. It's right there. Got the doo doo bag. There's some trash cans over by the pylons. We're gonna go jump off the pylons to cool off real quick and then head out, no doubt. It's sad how much like equipment we had to bring out. Caught like, like one, one tiny little Himalaya and one tiny little Papillo. Okay guys, we just saw him a little bit. There's actually two manta rays that were cruising right over there by the showers. That was pretty cool. Swam out to the pylons right over there. One day we're gonna go and fish off those, but that's for another time, I guess. We have to plan that one out, like everything's salty. Shoots. Till next one, guys. Deez.